Hey guys, so I told you once ago that I would uh, do a um, foundation routine video or a, fi a, full, a full face, a face routine, a face makeup, uh, whatever video. So obviously I have absolutely no makeup on. I know it's freaking, but hold on, we will we'll handle that. I will do something. So I've got nothing on my face except moisturizer, of course. And it's a this one is a little bit shiny, but well, that's it. And I have no, well, I have no sunscreen today because the weather is horrible and will stay at home every all the day, all the day long. So I don't need it. But let me fix the camera. If I'm like this, you will see me there. I think it's okay like this. So the first thing I use is my beloved Chiseido foundation. It's the, how do you call it in English, perfect re refining foundation. And I use it since they launched it, probably. My favorite color is I-20. And it's the color I use most of the year. For the summer, I may use O-20 because it's more, um, it's more yellow than this one. This one is more of beige yellow. Uh, but it's and it's my all-time favorite foundation. It's really my favorite foundation on earth. It's amazing. I love it. I always come back to it. I try some others, of course, but I always come back to it. It's for me. It's perfect. So I shake it because you have to. Then and you see, and the packaging is so amazing. Look, compared to I don't know, compared to those ones. See, which are very, very good foundations, by the way, but look at the packaging. Uh, it's the same, it's 30 milliliters as well. It's the same thing inside. I mean, it's like a sample. I love it. And it's plastic, so you're not afraid to break it when you take it with you. It's amazing. I just put a little bit on my finger and dot it on my skin. Well, a little bit. Let's say more than a little bit because these days my skin is absolutely awful. Really, really awful and terrifying. <clears throat> and then I take a brush. One of my favorite for this one, for this is the, which one is it? It's the buffing brush, the Real Techniques buffing brush. You see, which is like a, a flat kabuki uh, not very dense. Uh, it's amazing for liquid foundation. I love it. I buff it all over. Yeah, I know it's a bit long, but if I do a face routine, I don't want to cut it in the middle because I want you to see everything. And see, it's of course, I have no concealer, and so it's still horrifying, but the skin is really beautiful. It's a satiny finish, it's, it's covering, but you don't see it very much. It's, it's, a, it's really beautiful. I really love it. And lots of my friends tried it, and they love it as well. Okay, that's fine. Excuse me, I've got to check from clothes because from far I can't see. Then I take my beloved concealer, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I have to mix two colors because one, I, I didn't find one that was exactly my, my color really adapted. So I mix uh, custard and chantilly. And here is what I do. I take custard, I put a dot on my finger, you don't need a much. It's really, really, it's a high, high coverage. And then I take Chantilly, do the same. I do half, half of each, more or less. And then I do, I mix it with my finger, my other finger. And then I place it here and rub it with a clean finger. I put some also, also upstairs, uh, no, not upstairs, on the upper lid because it's a little bit you know it's discolored it's not I don't like it so I like a heavy concealing around my eyes 
And this concealer is so amazing, really, if you didn't try it yet, and you have quite big under eye circles and this coloration over the eye, maybe you could try it because it's really okay, it's very expensive, but it's so, so good. And I realized lately that you don't need to powder it. I do, because I'm used to powder my concealer, my under eye concealer, but actually you don't really need to. One day, a few weeks ago, I forgot to powder it and it didn't move at all during all day. It was amazing. So here it is. It's not perfect on the, le the left eye, of course, but you know, I have this problem of difference between my two eyes, which you don't see if I'm like this, but if I'm like this, you really see it. I have this bag here that I don't have on the, the right eye. It's horrible, but anyway. That's it, I take my Benefit Powder Flage, which I know is discontinued, sadly, 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 because I love it so much. And, where's this brush? Oh yeah, here, sorry. And my favorite brush for this is the Real Techniques setting brush. It's a small brush like this, and it's perfect for the, for the eye contour, because it's exactly the good side, and it's so soft, so, so nice. I powder this. I don't put a lot because you don't want it to be cakey or over powdery. Just to avoid it from shining, actually. Because the concealer doesn't, let, doesn't need to be set, but it's a little bit shiny, just a little bit, so I prefer to powder it. Then, then I discovered recently that mineralized skin finish from MAC in light was okay for me. Uh, I've always been convinced that the light medium was perfect for me. Here it is. You can see the difference. Excuse me, I'm going to open it. It will be better. And actually, it's my, it's my um, summer color. Here it is. The light medium here and the light. I thought the light would be like, I would look like a ghost with it. And actually, I don't. And it's because my, I don't know why, these times, this spring well if we can call it spring in Paris because it's horrible and grey and rainy and cold and yeah you know French people like to complain a lot about the weather. That's one of our one of our particularities and yeah like it very much. Anyway um I thought I would look like a ghost but yeah my foundation oxidized quite a lot this time. I don't know why. Maybe because I changed my moisturizer. I don't know but if I wear a, um, a dark, well, a darker powder, I look orange at the end of the day. So this one is perfect because even though I look a little bit pale at the moment I put it, uh, two hours later it will be perfect. So I take my favorite brush for this, for powder, which is the also, I, I use only, now I use only. Um, <coughs> I can't talk today, I can't speak today. I use only a Real Techniques brush for the face because I really love them. This one is the bl blush brush. I have the powder brush, but it's really, it's too big for me. It's really ooh, huge. I prefer the blush brush. So I take my powder and I dab it on. I don't swipe it, you know, because I don't want to, to move the foundation under it. So I dab it on. I put quite a lot of it. I like so much the finish. It is satiny, exactly as the foundation under it. So you see there is a glow in the skin. I, I have no highlight or nothing and it's glowing. It's nice. And you see it's a little bit pale, but if you compare it to my chest, I mean it's okay. It's, it's my color. If you compare to my hands, it's my color. Okay. Then, when you have dabbed it nicely, you can swipe a little bit, you can brush a little bit. If I think I'm too pale, which can happen, because even if it's my chest color, my neck color, it's a little bit, it's quite pale, so I will take just a tiny little bit of my beloved also. Of course, I use only thing I love for my face, my Dior New Tan. It's the number one, it's the palest one, I think. And a duo fiber brush like this, because the, the, the application is very light with it. 
I put just a little bit of it, but you barely can see it because it's so, so light. It's just to warm up a little bit the complexion, just a little bit. See? And then my favorite blush of all times. You American girls are so lucky because you have Tarte in your Sephora and Ulta. And this is the most beautiful thing ever. Tipsy. I use it since last August. It will be one year this summer. I bought it in, I don't know where, probably in, I don't know if it was in Los Angeles or Sacramento, but it's just, oh, it's beautiful. And I use a, um, a MAC 107, another dual fiber for that, because it, it, well, it, it's a nice applicator for this kind of product. For the, the colored product for face, I like a very light application, so. And I put it on the apples on, of my cheeks and a little bit backwards like this and of course always a little touch on the nose. I don't know why, just to put everything together. I like it very much. Here. And I will just brush a little bit my brows. I won't do them today because it's a face route, a foundation routine, but normally I will always do my brows. And I will put some lipstick because if I have no lipstick on, the color, I don't like the color of my lips and they don't match with the color of my face and I feel it's not finished. So I will put some lipstick on. Which one is it? No, it's not the one I want. I want a Sheen Supreme from, from MAC, you know. Is it the good one? Yeah. This one, it is Got a Dash. It's a coral one. And will you see something if I do that like this? No, you won't. I have to take another mirror for you to see. It is not very handy. Do you see? Yeah, you do. There. And you see, this also, I have a little touch of blush on the nose. This puts everything together and I love it. And now I can't I can't walk out without without lipstick, even if it's a nude one that you don't see at all, but I need some lipstick to yeah to put everything together. I don't know. Well that's it. That's my everyday foundation routine, face routine, face makeup, call it what you like. I hope you like it and uh, I'll see you very soon. Bye.